Hello, welcome. In this video, we are going to explore the platform that is helping Africa to be able to adopt cryptocurrency, where we'll be able to send, receive, and pay services using crypto, especially Bitcoin. My name is Bonipai from Bonipai Channel. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video so that others may learn about this platform. We are going to learn eight things you need to know about this platform and then in, in the last part we're going to, to to learn how does it work how do you access this platform and be able to send receive and pay services in africa so let's get started so we're going to start with eight things that you need to know about this platform the first part is that this platform uses a smartphone or normal phone so you can use any any phone even if it's a normal phone that has no internet what is required is that the phone must be uh, the phone must be configured to accept ussd when we say ussd this is unstructured supplementary service data so if the phone is configured to accept ussd you can now send receive and pay services using this platform the second part accessing this platform no need of interacting with internet so even if you are living in a remote area where internet is challenging it's very easy to use this platform to send receive and pay services using bitcoin the third part is that using this platform you can send receive and buy services or goods Again, the platform team is working to add more services in Africa. Also, there is no charges receiving Bitcoin in this platform, in your wallet. There is no charges receiving Bitcoin in your wallet. But there is charges when you are sending your Bitcoin from your wallet, from this wallet to other wallet. The charges is 1%. So 1% with the amount you have in your wallet will be charged and this charges is used to develop is used by the team to to develop this platform providing more services for africa this platform that is supporting a normal wallet is currently supported in eight countries including tanzania kenya nigeria ghana uganda and south africa the platform is called Manchakula. So it's a full custodial Bitcoin and Lightning wallet that requires zero configuration and works on any mobile phone in the world. And it does not require an internet connection to send, receive Bitcoin or pay services. So this platform, Manchakula, takes advantage of USSD, that is, unstructured supplemental unstructured supplemental services data that means even if you don't have internet even if your phone does not support internet you'll be able to receive send and pay services using bitcoin in africa now the last part we're going to see how does it work for example if you if you if you stay in ghana to be able to access this wallet, you have to dial star nine two zero star eight three 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 then hash. So that's the USSD code to access this wallet while you stay in Ghana. If you are in Kenya, you have to use this USSD. Is hash? Sorry, is star four eight three star eight three 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 then hash if for the malawi you want to access this wallet you will have to dial this ussd that is star three eight four star eight three 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 hash again if for namibia you have to dial this ussd code is star one four two star eight three 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 hash remember this works on only on mtc network only 
This is the case of Namibia. Now in Nigeria, you have to dial star three four seven star eight three 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 hash. In South Africa, you have to dial this USSD code to be able to access this uh, custodial wallet under uh, Manchakula. So it's star one three four star three eight two star three eight two then hash. If you are in Tanzania, the USSD code that will, will help you, will support you to access this wallet, you'll have to dial this USSD code and you must have a Vodacom number. So the USSD code is star 149 star 46 star 26 then hash. And if in Uganda, there is two USSD code, you can dial using this USSD code that is star 284 star 8333 hash or you can use star 384 star 833 hash. So simply by accessing these USSD codes, you'll be able to access this wallet. So be able to access this wallet, you'll be able to send, receive and even pay goods or service using this wallet. Okay, now in my case, I'm in Tanzania. So to be able to access this sales, I'll have to dial star the 149149 149, then star and then 46 star then 26 then hash. So this is the unstructured supplemental service that's a USSD code that will have to dial while staying in Tanzania. So I click here call and then I'll select my Vodacom number. So if I select my Vodacom number, I'll be able to access this save. So simply here, it says, welcome back to Manchakura platform, where you'll be able to send BTC, receive BTC, you'll be able to see the balance in history, also be able to buy goods and service, also be able to check, be able to check the BTC exchange rate. And then we have a setting exit. Remember, receiving, receiving the BTCs free but when you are sending you will be charged one percent on any transaction that you will be doing so simply this is how to access the manchakula platform while standing in tanzania remember be using vodacom and be able to send receive you'll be able to check the balance in history you'll be able to buy goods or services also be able to check the btc exchange rate and then last one you'll be able to to to, to check the setting and exit Remember, when you are sending BTC, you have you, there is a charge of one percent, and then when you are receiving BTC, it's free. You don't pay anything receiving BTC, but sending B charge one percent.